Hey guys, Catchy Muscle here. I promised I was going to build my PC in month, and here we are. Let's jump straight into it. To start off with, we've got our motherboard, which is the ROG Strix's Z690A Gaming Wi-Fi D4 white motherboard. This will be a perfect fit to my build, as my whole build is going to be white. Right out of the box, we can see that we get our Wi-Fi antenna. This is a Wi-Fi 6E antenna. Let's pull out the motherboard, and we can see that the motherboard looks really, really nice. It's got a nice I.O. and nice color coding. Let's see what's else inside the motherboard box. So in the motherboard box, we have our normal... RG ARGB rainbow extension. We also got some free cable ties to help with cable management. We get a free keychain also with the motherboard. We obviously get the manual with the motherboard just to show you how to put all the dim slots in and the CPU. And in my opinion the best part we get some really nice looking stickers that we can stick around the place. We get a really cool thank you card from ROG. Some little bags for help with the M.2s and anything else to do with the motherboard and that's about it for the motherboard box. Okay now time for our CPU. I got a Core i5-12600KF. This boasts 10 cores and 16 threads. To insert the CPU we open the socket retention arm then we lift up the socket lid. We then carefully align the CPU and place it securely into the socket. We line up the arrow on the corner of the socket with the corner on the CPU. We then put the socket lid down and use the retention arm to securely lock the CPU in place. For our RAM I've got 32GB of Corsair's Vagence RGB Pro SL. Let's open all the DIMM slots as we have 4 sticks of RAM. Now let's carefully align the DIMM sticks with the notch on the motherboard. We carefully place them in and push them down until we hear a distinct click, which means they are installed. For the storage, I've purchased a Crucial P5 Plus PCIe Gen 4, the fastest speed you can get at the moment. It's 500 gigabytes of storage and I'm going to use this for my operating system. I've also managed to gather two more 500GB M.2 drives. These will be used to store games. I first undid the cover of the top M.2 slot and then I peeled off the thermal pad. I then removed the bottom M.2 slots and placed the two game SSDs inside and then I placed the lid down to securely hold in place. 
if I say good night. Written on the ground and chalk, call that off white. Put you right up on a shirt. I'll be damned if I never put in work. You a broke ass bitch, your pockets hurt. And I carry an Uzi, no vert. Chillin' in a jacuzzi, my way. I next installed the motherboard in the case. This requires eight screws. Up next we have our water cooler. I got the Corsair H100i Elite Capellix. This is a really nice water cooler. It has nice aesthetics and it will be a great fit to my build as it is a white cooler. In the box we get the radiator with the pump head plus two fans but we're not going to use those because we already have um, two more other QL 120mm fans. And it also comes with a Corsair Commander Core to synchronize all your lighting and PWM speeds. I've finished screwing the QL 120mm fans now, so I'm going to put it into the top of the case. So it, it requires eight screws, and I'm going to just do a quick time lapse of me screwing it in. I got 
Take over all of these scenes In the midst of this shit we believe For the championship with the ring We put up, it's a hell of a scene Can't I stop, bitch, we cop Call the fuck out my pocket I'm going to apply the thermal paste now, and if there's any people out there that are really good at doing thermal paste, like overclockers or something, please don't judge my thermal paste, because I'm really bad at applying it. This is my first PC build. But anyways, I'll do a quick time lapse of this too. Now it's time to put the pump head on. I now need to screw the pump head onto the CPU bracket. This requires four screws. To power our whole computer, we have Corsair's 750 watt wire edition power supply. In the PSU box, we get our important information booklet. We obviously get our power cable for the power supply. And a really nice addition from Corsair, we get some sleeve cables. Lastly, we get our power supply, which this and this power supply feels really firm and solid. Next up we have our prized possession of the build which is Gigabyte's RTX 3070 Ti. This is a really powerful GPU and I picked it up for a really expensive, I'll put it on the screen right now. Before we install the GPU, we need to undo two GPU mounting brackets. After I lost the video of installing my GPU, all I had was um, the part where I screwed it back in, so I had to screw back in two screws to hold in place. After I screwed it into place, I used the two PCIe connectors to plug in the GPU to give it power. Now 
To finish the build, I peeled the plastic of the tempered glass of the case. Thanks for watching, this whole build took 6 hours mostly because I was trying to record it. All the parts and prices will be listed in the description. If you enjoyed this video, like it because that's a great indication to me that you like the content like this. Anyway, see ya.